Hello folks, hope you're doing well. Yeah, going from the last one. Um, yeah. It is very much the case that um, we shall continue learning until we die. And yeah. And it is very much the case, really, until we get to a certain point. You know, normally around about you know, past 40 that we actually bother to start learning as adults and seeing things in a different way. That maturity finally kicks in. Um, yeah. I've done videos about it, talking about the way I see people now and, you know, and the fact that for most of my life, you know, I viewed attraction, certainly my attraction towards a woman would have been based upon facial features and her body. And yet, those two things are the things that get worse and worse and worse as you get older. And yet, the nature, who she is as a person, should only get better. I mean, if she's a lovely person, that should only get better. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. As I said in those videos, yeah, no relationship has ever worked because of how someone looked or how good their body was. That's the reality. And yet we can measure people in that way. The level of stupidity in that is, yeah. Yeah. And I've said about friendships that, um, yeah. If you can count the person as more important than the friendship, then hopefully you will start valuing people that do that as well and you will get friends who treat you that way. You have friends that won't lie to you. Well, if you're in a relationship and your partner is cheating, would you rather a friend would tell you the truth even though they knew if they tell you, then it's qu quite possible you won't speak to them again because they told you that. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people think that's true. If they tell you bad news, then you will basically say it's their fault. And you won't speak to them again. <sighs> yeah. Obviously, if they tell you, then you can sort that out. And you know, and you can decide what to do about it. And you can trust them in the future. Because they told you the truth. But if they lie about it, and don't, and don't tell you, and you find out later that they knew, then you won't speak to that person at all in the future. Then you can blame them, of course. Of course you can blame them that in that way, yeah. Isn't it weird though that people can think, oh, I won't say because if I say then she won't like me because she'd blame me for all the crap that comes up from it. Um, or he will. Um, and yet it's a certainty that once the truth comes out, anyone who knew about it will be partially to blame because they could have helped that situation be resolved a lot earlier and saved you from a lot of pain but <laughs> it's bizarre isn't it so these are just two examples of where yeah the things that we think are important are the things that really are not And that can apply to so many things, it really can. But that's why I said it was such a big thing last in this past week. Talking about how would Father Father God react to situations and realising that the way that you react to situations can often get you into the most trouble that you get into. Yeah. And your bad decisions is how you react to things. 
So if you, can, if you can sort that out, then that will help you a lot. So, yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, now we need to demand more from friends. We need to demand better standards from friends. Yeah. Yeah. Well, because you need to look in the mirror and value yourself. You need to look at yourself and realize who you are and how valuable you actually are. And if you can do that, then you'll realize that you need better friends who also realize who you are and can value who you are. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's the same with regards to Christianity. You need people who are going to help you to rise. They're going to help you to do better. To thrive rather than survive. You need people that are going to help you to do that. And, therefore, you need truth. Lies won't help you at all. Yeah, nice lies are still lies. Even though they sound nice, they're still lies. And they won't help you at all. You need truth. You need people to tell you about your issues and help you to deal with them. Because then that will help you. And that's the point, you need people to love you enough to do that. Yeah. Well, put it this way, I mean, one of the big, biggest things that um, the younger generation now have had to deal with, some, not all, but some, is the fact that so many parents have wanted to be sort of best friends to their kids rather than parents. And they've not loved them enough to parent them. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's like, you know, if you, if you have young people that have never heard the word no, hearing that word is incredibly important. Learning that sometimes, well, most of the time, no is good. It actually helps you to stay out of trouble. The word no is good for you. That when you're a kid and you want to do something that's dangerous. If your parents say no and you listen to that, okay, you're safe. But if you don't listen to that or they don't say no, then you can be hurt. Is that good for you? <laughs> it depends how hurt you are, really, and if it's a good lesson. If it's a bad lesson, then no, that's not good for you at all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But that's the point. You need people that love you enough. And that's why they say you can't choose your family, but you do choose your friends. And that is so incredibly true. So choose wisely. Especially if you're young, choose wisely because you have a journey and you need to choose people that are going to help you to walk that journey. And don't approach that trying to please them. One of the biggest problems with trying to be a people pleaser is that you have to dance to someone else's song, but you don't even know the song. <laughs> So therefore, how can you do that? You can't. You have to guess all the time. And yeah, that doesn't work. You won't please people that way. As I said, you can please God. And when you please God, you're going to please people as well. Some people, not everyone, but some people. But if you try to please people, basically you won't please anyone really. Yeah, that's the truth. In the end, you won't please anyone because people will know that you're lying in the end. So, yeah. Yeah. 
So, hmm. Learning, yes. I mean, even things like, um, I've done videos about weight training. In fact, I learn as I go how to do this in a safer and more effective way than I used to. You know, knowing that as you get older, if you lighten the weight but slow the reps down, you're putting your muscles through probably even a harder workout, but there's far less likely that you're going to actually damage yourself. Not just necessarily older, if you're starting to train, or even if you're young anyway, if you do it that way, go lighter, but make this, the rep slower, yeah, then you're working harder, and your muscles are working harder. But obviously, there's less chance of you, you know, damaging your, yourself. If you're living, if you're lif lifting really, really heavy stuff, then you can hurt yourself easily. So, yeah. But if you speak, to, if you speak to people who do that, you know, lift heavy weights all the time, really, really heavy weights, they hurt themselves all the time all the time so do it lighter and slower and it's better for you completely better for you so there you go i'll speak to you later be a blessing and be blessed enjoy bye bye